Okay, welcome all to the 2020 Quantas Swan Hill Awards. A very unusual, different and not normal award this year. I would first like to start the evening by welcoming Hayden Heritage, who will do Welcome to Country. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hayden Heritage. I am a Year 10 Clontoff member of Swan Hill College. Today, I, we come together on our nation's land to celebrate our Clontoff year and the outstanding achievements we have accomplished in such difficult times like never before. We acknowledge the tr traditional owners of Wamba Wamba people and recognize their continuing connection to the land, water and culture. We pay our respects to the elders past and present and emerging. Thank you. Thank you very much, Aidan. I'd now, via video, like to welcome Jared Neeshan, CEO of the Clontarf Foundation, to give his annual address. G'day everyone, it's Jared Neeshan. I'm the CEO and the founder of the Clontarf Foundation. First of all, what a difficult year. It's been the most incredible year for everyone the world over with COVID-19 and how that's impacted what we could do or not do during the year. Congratulations to, to all the staff that's been involved with these young fellas, uh, the teaching staff, my staff, or our staff. It's, uh, it's really great that we hung in there, stuck with everyone, the boys hung in there right across the year. And here we are at the end of the year, moving into what I think is gonna be a much better place. Uh, to the parents and the families, congratulations for getting through a difficult year. For the boys themselves, whether you're in year seven or year four or year 10, whatever year you're in, going into the next year of your life, it's gonna be really exciting. Well done for getting to the end of the year. Well done for coping with COVID. And uh, here's, here's looking forward to the future for all of us. So congratulations from me, Jared Nation, the CEO of the Clontar Foundation. Thanks very much, Jared. Always good to get your response at the end of the year. Thanks very much, Hayden, for acknowledgement to country. We really appreciate your effort in that. So this afternoon, we come together in a very different format this year, one that we hope will never happen again. It is still very strange that only last week we had our third camp for the year. It was the senior fellas, again, that were able to get that opportunity, this time in Torquay. COVID-19 has really forced the Clontarf Foundation and our academy to think outside the box, be creative and show initiative like ever before. I believe we did our best and achieved much success along the way. We're here this afternoon to celebrate for a number of reasons. The success of our Year 12 graduates, acknowledgement of our high achievers, and to celebrate and applaud the boys' outstanding year through diversity. Unfortunately, due to current pandemic, we are without many of our Clontarf family members who cannot be here due to current restrictions. Most of our Clontarf boys, their family members and friends, Swan Hill College staff, Clontarf partners, local businesses, community groups, council members, politicians, and Downsy. I know, congratulate you all on your awards today. Remote learning tested us all. It was not easy and at times frustrating and difficult and really challenged the boys and all the staff. The majority of our program was put on hold and instead replaced with snack pack drop-offs, home visits, numerous WebEx sessions, IT support, virtual art classes by Toby, and just to name a few. It has been a very unusual and different year for the boys. However, still extremely rewarding and successful throughout 2020. Again, they have represented themselves, their family and Clontarf program with pride, and it will be commended on the way they have conducted themselves. Congratulations go out to all the boys for getting through the year, and especially those that will receive awards this afternoon. I also want to pay a special congratulations to our two Year 12 guys, Gage and Stuart, and we will address them in a special portion a bit later on. I know I speak on behalf of all the boys, but we can't wait to get back into it next year. Thank you. The Clontarf Academy plays an integral part of the boys' education at the Pie Street campus. 
in this the year of COVID even more so. I've watched Danny and Toby plan and replan many a time, deliver all sorts of materials and needs to each of you boys. I've seen, him, seen them bring you into the room for help and working with teachers so that you educationally continue to grow. The highlight for me was watching Toby teach you culturally to paint. I'm so fortunate to feel a part of this foundation and to be involved with its day-to-day -day operations. To get, for me to get to know personally each and every one of you boys and your families is the highlight of my portfolio here at Swan Hill College. To work alongside Danny and Toby has taught me so much and helped my personal development. And to work, work alongside each of the boys at Pi Street campus is often making my week. It is an honour to watch you all arrive in Year 7 and leave in Year 12. As they say in Clontarf, from little things, big things grow, and I'm privileged to watch this. Because of Clontarf, each boy has the chance to personally grow in your own way. Watching Danny and Toby help to develop each boy's skills, be it academic, culturally or personally, is what Clontarf is about to me. Swan Hill College is very fortunate to have the help of Toby and Danny and the Clontarf Foundation. To the Pi Street boys and all your families who I've also loved getting to know, I would like to thank you for letting me into your academy and into your lives and I'm looking forward to celebrating your achievements this afternoon. To Stu, I'm going to miss you and I've watched you grow and develop into the hard-working fine young man you have for the past six years. You have been a superb role model here at the campus and for our younger fellas, and I'm going to look forward to hearing all about where your life takes you next. Good luck for your future, and don't forget to come and visit us. At the Flow Campus, we have the very strong privilege to have the Clontarf Academy slowly develop and build their relationships with us. This year, we farewell one Year 12 graduate, and they have been a great role model for our students down at Flow. This year, we have also been very fortunate to have Danny and Toby based at our campus two days a week. While it is great for all our Clontarf fellas to have that interaction, culturally, culturally, it has been beneficial to all. Our boys are thriving under the guidance of both um, Pi Street and Flow Campus fellas mixing together. For me personally, to see the partnership forge has been humbling and heartwarming. Each camp or visit, we see our boys' confidence grow and have roll-on effects to our other students. To Gage, it has been an absolute honour and privilege to see you personally grow uh, since commencing at Flow. You have found ways to step outside your comfort zone, your kindness automatically attracts others, and your thoughtful ways towards staff and students never go unnoticed. Flow staff and students will dearly miss your face around our campus, and we wish you the very best in your adventures that lay ahead. Thank you to Danny and Toby for your contribution to Gage's education and cultural journey. And though Gage's mum, Kobe, could not be here today, I would like to personally thank her for her dedication, communication and trust in our program. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to all award winners. It's fantastic to be here today. We've had a, a really tough year, obviously, myself and um, Aidan, Yellen, the employment officer, have had to watch you guys thrive from afar. It has been a difficult year with remote learning and COVID-19. We haven't been able to do our normal program. We haven't been able to see each other, haven't been able to go on camps, haven't been able to go sporting carnivals. So we've really missed being here in the academy room. So we're really grateful to be able to actually be here and share this day with you because our awards nights are the best nights of the year because we are able to celebrate the achievements of you guys and the achievements of our year 12 boys. So well done. So. Through a tough year, Denny and Toby, I'd also like to thank you guys, along with the support of the school and the community. It was tough. It was a space no one's been in before, um, but we were able to come out the other side and um, get some really terrific results. We saw a whole range of different uh, initiatives and thinking outside the box. We had kids engaging in virtual art workshops. We had virtual mock interviews. We had the circle time on WebEx that I was fortunate enough to be a part of each week. And you boys were able to still get on with your schoolwork thanks to you know some hard copy work being dropped off and some support through IT. So well done, Toby and Danny, and thank you to the school and, and Mudgy over at Flow as well. It's just terrific team effort. So thanks very much. Year 12 boys, this is it. End of the road. Congratulations. You know, it's so it's hard. It's not easy to get through to year 12. And you boys uh, should be incredibly proud of what you've been able to achieve. I know these guys are, Toby and Denny, incredibly proud of you, along with Mudgy, Dee and Sartz. 
and your families are incredibly proud of your achievements as well. So now it's over to you to enter the big bad world, to uh, find your own pathway with employment and um, other things in life. But please know that Clontarf door is always open. So when you do need support, you've got Denny and Toby here as well. You've got Aiden, you've got the school, so you're never alone. So congratulations, boys, and enjoy this little moment. Stewie, you've already got a part-time job and you're well on your way to uh, bigger and better things. So well done, mate. Engage, you know, coming back a second time to complete year 12 is no easy feat. So well done, mate. And I know you've ticked off a lot of things to get your education across the line. So fantastic. Well done. And I guess reflecting on the year, you know, there's a lot of negativity around what we've, uh, what we've seen and what we've heard. I think the highlight for me is just the way you boys still remained and stayed engaged in your schooling and in, in Clonta through remote learning. So that's been the highlight and it's been pretty to watch from, from afar. So thank you. Next year, I'm looking forward to getting back on the bandwagon, hopefully a little bit normality and we can start to enjoy some more regional sporting carnals where we get all the other academies together and we can catch up and, and do more fun things like that, but also getting out and seeing you guys more often. So I can't wait for that in 221. But again, congratulations to all the awards winners and thanks very much for the year. That now brings us to our, year to our 2020 Clontarf Awards. And the first of our awards is one of our very special awards. It's the Jesse Edwards Memorial Clontarf Spirit Award. This award goes to one of our most outstanding students throughout the year who has demonstrated and leads by all our pillars and all the values of what Clontarf stand for. The recipient of this award this year is Jaden Gomba. Jaden will say a few words. Um, I'd like to thank the Jesse Edwards family for this award. It really means a lot to receive this award. Um, also, thanks to me mum for her support this year. It hasn't been easy at all. And a big thank you to Danny and Toby for everything they've done as well. Thank you. Well done, Jaden. I know you're very humble to receive that award. Probably one of the very um, bizarre awards for this year is our Clontarf Top Attendee Award, given that we've had COVID-19. However, with all the um, data that we've received, and I do know that this boy has put in his whole 100% when school has been based at school, but also including remote learning. And the winner of our top attendee award for the year is Isaac Green. <laughs> now, Isaac unfortunately cannot be here today. He is on a school camp, which he thought was... Um, of a high priority for his education. So I do know that we will acknowledge him in an individual um, award a bit later on. So well done, Isaac. Our next award is our employment award. And this is one area that we have put a lot of focus into over the last 12, 12 months. Um, and we're very, very fortunate to have a great relationship with our one of our local partners in Bunnings. And the winner of this award he has demonstrated everything through Clontarf in terms of our employment board, but also ticking all the boxes with Bunnings as well. And he's come in leaps and bounds as a U7 student, and he has built his resilience, his self-esteem and self-confidence to now being one of the most confident people working at Bunnings. So I'd like to congratulate Stuart Heritage.
Hans J. Well done, Stuart. Great effort. And we look forward to seeing you at Bunnings a lot more often. Our next award is a new award this year and hopefully only award that we do have to give out this year. It's our Clontarf Remote Learning Award. We had two of our students that were excelling in remote learning this year over the um, two COVID transitions. And to say that they put in 100% was absolutely phenomenal. So the first of our awards, I'd like to acknowledge Hayden Heritage. <laughs> One of the highlights of Hayden's Thanks. first just stay there, Hayden. One of, one of Hayden's um, antics in his first COVID-19 remote learning was that he did a PE class at home um, via WebEx and he even put, it, put on his school PE uniform to do it. So I thought that was great commitment. So well done, Hayden. Thanks. <laughs> the next of our remote learning, learning awards goes to one of, another one of our senior boys who was absolutely fa fantastic in the way he has moved from uh, transitioning from VCE to VCAL and then making sure that he utilised all the school support possible. And that goes to Jared Walsh. Well, mate. Our most improved for this year, and I think by far we have seen the greatest improvement of these two. The first of them is a very, um, I guess, special award for us to see how far this young man has come. He has absolutely come in leaps and bounds. He's had his struggles early, he's had his challenges, but to see the way he's going now with his education is absolutely outstanding. With this Clontarf Award, he also receives a voucher from Rebel on behalf of Swinburne University. So I'd like to congratulate Elijah Moore. Well done, Lloyd. Well done, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, you don't have... Not unless you want to talk, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> the second of our... Most improved awards, and I know this young Year 7 fella, he had his struggles last year, but again this year has really taken to his education and, as we always say, improved attendance improves your education, and I think Dakota Cordwell is a prime example. So congratulations, Dakota. Well done, Dakota. Our Clontarf Education Award. This was a hands down unanimous decision. We are, I guess, we're not surprised. I don't know what the words are, but I think the winner of this award actually typified the way he takes his education. Last week on our Torquay camp, he spent two of his afternoons studying for exams this week. One thing that we rarely often see on a Clontarf camp is boys studying for an exam, and it goes to none other than Hayden Heritage. <laughs> and the photo there is proof in his cabin when he was studying. <laughs> well done again, mate. Thanks. Got the trailer. Well done, Hayden. <laughs> The next award is an award that is kindly donated by the Swan Hill Council. It's for a Youth Endeavour Scholarship Award. And the scholarship is used for a senior year 12 student who is transitioning to another area of study or learning. And the winner of this goes, the recipient of this goes to Stuart Heritage, who will be transitioning into uh, Parks Victoria. 
hopefully with TAFE next year. So well done, Stuart. Well, mate. Well done, Stu. The winner of the Deadly Bloke Award, I guess, lists a, a very highly sought out list of Clontar fellas that have come through our Swan Hill Academy if you go through the names before him. And it's, it's so uncanny that the winner of this award is a Year 7 guy who demonstrates a lot of, I guess, flair, humour, and it just buzzes with energy every time we um, have him in the room. And I'd like to congratulate Joseph Herald. The next award is, an, again, another joint award where we've not been able to split three of our boys. The first of the recipients is one of our Year 8 fellas who continues to show all the Clontarf values, his input in activities, his buy-in in the academy room, and his just general um, non-stop ways about life with Clontarf. So I'd like to congratulate Lockie Rowe. Work frog. Well done, Lockie. Blake Wright receives the next of the encouragement awards. Blake was very unlucky not to be a joint winner of the Deadly Bloke Award, given his partnership with Joseph in kind. So, Blake, we know you've had a very indifferent Year 7 to what a normal Year 7 Clontarf fellow would have, but I do know that you'll make the most of Clontarf once everything's on the full go next year. So... Congratulations, Blake, the second recipient. I'm Blakey. Thanks. The next of our, or the last of our encouraging awards goes to another Year 7 boy. And this boy is absolutely outstanding in all areas. He first came in very, very quiet. I wouldn't say he had a, an abundance of self-esteem or self-confidence, but today, going into the middle of Term 4, he can hardly keep him quiet. He's one of the first to help us out before an activity has even started, before we've even thought of an activity. And he is just great to have around, and I know and I do hope that we have another five awesome years left of this young fella. With... The award itself, um, we have a donation that's kindly um, been given us by the Mallee Cruises Car Club. They normally donate us a voucher which is based on community spirit through our volunteer programs around town. And unfortunately, due to COVID, we haven't been able to do that. So based on the nature of Alex Willie, we've no doubt had to give it to Alex. So congratulations, Alex. Well done, buddy. Good work. Good well done, Alex. Speech? Oh. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> now it comes to the last two awards, which are our Year 12 graduates. So we have two graduates adding to our alumni now. Stuart Heritage and Gage Cunningham. It's absolutely fantastic to see you both get through. I do know that both personally, with the school, with your families, everything going on, you've had your ups and downs. You've both had some challenges along the way. But to say how proud we all are in this room is dead set 100%. You guys are the prime example of why we really work hard and push for Year 12s to get through. And we know that because you have done that, you have given yourselves a massive step up in your employment career. And you, I hope you both know that you'll always have Clontas back. Stewie, it's been a long battle 
okay? We do know that over the last 12 months, two years, you've absolutely come out of your shell. And I think having that part-time employment with you, acting as a, a great role model and senior leader to all the younger Clontar fellas have really helped you become a young man. Having looked at some of the photos of Stewie in year seven and year eight with his rose-coloured glasses, he was probably smaller than Lockie and Alex when he was in year seven, and now he's grown to be one of the most genuine, well-sought-out and loved Clontarf fellas. Stewie, I know that, again, yourself, you know, you've dealt with a lot of issues, but you've come out on top, and we're very, very thankful that we played our part. So well done, Stewie. Congratulations. So as part of the Year 12 graduate, they received their graduation certificate. Here you go, mate. Well done. They also received their graduation plaque, thanks to Sports Power. They receive a copy of the 2020 alumni photo, which we'll add to our alumni wall. And then they also receive their Clontar folio, which has all of their employment documents with a few extra photos and that as well. So yeah. congratulations, so Stewie. And I do know Stewie has prepared a smaller speech. As this is my final speech for Year 12 at Swinney College in Clontarf, I would like to talk about the journey I've been, been on and my time at this school. I started in Year 7 in 2015. I was scared to start school because of all the bigger kids and I was small. I didn't go to Clontarf straight away until Year 8. When I went, when I went there, we, we, we went on camps. I did not really spend much time in Contaf room. Over years, Contaf have helped me through a lot. I've faced many hardships in life and at, at school, and I find that Contaf was always here to help me and support me through these times. I felt safe, and I know that I could talk to the staff about any problems I had. They also taught me so many skills I've learnt Lots of things from the camps and also how to be become a better person. I used to be very shy, still am, <laughs> but now I could talk to people with more confidence. The best camp I went on was the Year 7 Introduction Camp when I went to the Grampians and took part in uh, a lot of bonding activities with other contact boys at different schools. We only had about six boys, and I'm the, not the only one, but who, who made it to year 12. On, the, on camps, we went hiking and played games. It was great to meet other people and do something new. My favorite memories from Contaf was going on Broken Hill, and we, we went on a curvy road at night, and Toby hit a kangaroo. <laughs> We stopped and the root got up and jumped away. We laughed about it. Meeting up with the other contact groups was also a highlight. Meeting new people and having fun was has been great. I would like to thank Mum was always always making me get up for school and caring for me like Mum does best. And to Danny and Toby for always being there for me and helping when I needed. To to all the other boys I made friends with along the way, I wish you all the best. I would also like to thank all the teachers I had at the school that also helped me. I will miss everyone here at Swanhill College after school. I'll be, I want to keep working at Bunnings for a bit. Hopefully I get, one day I'll get a job at Parks, Victoria. Thank you. Stewie, that was probably one of the best speeches I've ever heard this year. I do know that you put a lot of time into that. And I think if we could rewind six years ago, 
and replayed that to you when you're in year seven, I think you would have yeah, certainly un undone yourself. So congratulations on that speech, mate. Again, you covered everything. So well done. Everything. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this photo from last week. I think it really typifies where Gage is at with himself, with schooling, with everything. He, again, like Stewie, he's had his ups and downs. However, with Gage, he do knows how to bounce back. He has made some of the most smartest, intelligent, matured decisions, and that's with support, with mum and family and also Flo and the school and Clontarf and I do know it was a, a very awkward period when you do make that transition to Flo but to see the young man that you are now Gage and seeing you on camp last week mixing with the boys as a young young man that's definitely going places is absolutely fantastic. We do know that you're going to have our back and you'll have our support with whatever you need and Along that, I want to say a big thank you to Mudgy. Um, I do know that Mudgy has put a lot of time in as well. And I think that just goes to show that it's not just one person that can make something happen. You've done it by seeking out that support and making sure that everyone around you is on the same page. And for someone that knows that they've got to go through Year 12 a second time to make sure that they complete it and complete it properly, you should be very, very proud of yourself. So congratulations, Gage, another Clontarf graduate. You deadly plaque. Okay, mate, take all that in. And I think Gage will have a few words to say as well. Early on, my attendance impacted my education. I started at Flow in year 11 and was able to do year 13 to complete my VCAL certificate. Uh, Flow and Quantoff helped me integrate smoothly into Flow and supported my attendance more regularly. I felt more supported at Flow and enjoyed Quantoff mentors coming down for a checkup. Uh, my favorite camp uh, was the camp just gone because I got to hang out with my friends do fun activities, including surfing, the fishing charter, go to the cultural centre, have fun sights to see. Uh, some highlights were of this whole thing was lifelong friends I've made. Uh, I'm proud of my attendance and work ethic. Uh, people I'd like to thank as the Flow staff, my mentor Michelle, Danny and Toby, my family. Uh, life after school will be I'm in the process of looking for employment. I've completed my RSA and I would like to work in a bar. I spoke a little bit earlier about our Clontarf alumni. So our alumni is the list of our students that have gone on with Clontarf and completed Year 12. And as I've said to both Gage and Stuart, they now have our support continually in the workplace, with every, what they want to do in life, they're going to have us there beside them. It won't be a journey by himself. And as you can see by the list that we have up there, it's a pretty prestige list. And for all you fellas here tonight, this afternoon, I do hope that we can get your names eventually added onto that list as well. So congratulations to all our award winners. I'd also like to thank all our sponsors for our donations of the awards. That concludes our awards this afternoon, and I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Thank you. The most I miss about our clients up will maybe be hanging around with the boys, just, just having fun with them, chatting. The most I'll miss about Quantas is the camps, getting to interact with the boys, having fun. Watching Shu become an alumni today was actually awesome. It just feels good. Like just seeing my big brother uh, finish year 12. Uh, my final advice would be just to attend school. It helps in the long run. My final advice would be just hang in there, try your best, and don't give up. 
My advice to grade six is that if you have any problems, talk to your teachers or talk to Danny and Toby just to see if they can help and they always try their best to help whenever they can. So to be a role model in Clontarf is to um, help the other boys out, helping out with Bunnings and going on camp showing the other boys how to be a role model. Within the school, I can lead by example. Yeah, be in class on time. Uh, yeah, making sure the boys are doing the right thing. To me, being a role model is just looking out for the others, just being a leader, just ha also having fun at the same time. What I love about Contaf is Danny and Toby being there to help with any problems, being able to talk to them with, about work or school, just anything. Just hang in and try your best. Just give it your all. If you give it your all, we'll get it. You can make it through.